Hi again, here we are. So in the previous video, we did this, and we consider everything, we didn't do any simplification, we didn't modify any K, we consider the carryover factor 0 0.5. Still, we consider both ends to be fixed, and the problem was short, and I call this the longest method in length in calculations. Now we're gonna do an intermediate part, and in this intermediate part, I'm gonna apply several assumptions or several simplifications. The first, I'm gonna use the modified modified K that we discussed because whenever you have whenever you have a, a part n he a, a part n which is pin part n hinge like that, I can use a K for that member as three I divided by four L. We derive this, we show this in the introductory video. So go and watch that please. So we're gonna use that modify K for that. If we do that, this is gonna be three divided by four times 15 L, that's the K. I'm gonna use this color, I don't know, for K. K here is gonna be the same. Three divided by, three divided by four times 15 3 divided by 4 times 15 i, uh, k equals 3 fourth i l. So in this case is, if l is 15, this is gonna be 60. 3 divided by 60 is 1 divided by 20. So 1 divided by 20 i. And for this case, it's gonna be just the regular i divided by 20 because it's i divided by l, i divided by l. And in this case, because of the modified factor, this is gonna be remembered for AB and for CD. Now the K for BC is gonna be just the regular i divided by 20. That's the first modification. The second modification, second modification here, of course the distribution factors are going to change now because the distribution factor of this one is one no problem with that but the carry uh, carry on factor is zero so carry carry on or transmission factor for ab and um, for dc is zero the carry of factor this is another thing that we can do for BC, BA, and CB, and CD is 0 0.5. But from here to here, nothing is gonna happen. And from here to here, nothing is gonna be transmitted. That's another modification that we can do. And the third modification that we can do is using the modified fixed moment for this part. Now if you go to the tables, so I'm just gonna use this for the sake of clarity here. If you go to the table, you can see that if you have this type of situation, and you can derive that by using slope deflection or conjugate beam, no problem whatsoever. You can derive these numbers. But you know the moment here is gonna be zero. How do you know that? Because this is a pin. There's no rollers in a pin. There's an <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be with one of the most cited quotes in history of mankind. There's no rollers in here. This is a roller. Of course there are rollers. There's no moment in a roller. And then you have this other moment here, which is WL squared divided by 15. So those are the modifications that we're gonna use. For the other case, for the case of BC, we keep working with this, with this, WL squared divided by 12. So we always, uh, we keep working with that case because uh, that case is uh, continuous and continuous in both ends. So then the fixed moment for this part, for this part here, is gonna be for, let's start the fixed end moment fixed and moment AB and fixed and moment 
DC zero, zero and zero. The fixed end moment BA, BA, it will be like this, right? So it's gonna be negative. It's gonna be negative, negative WL squared divided by 15, negative two times 15 squared divided by 15, which is negative 60. Fixed end moment CD is going to be W because it's going to be like this, so do like this exactly. So it's going to be positive 60. Now, fixed end moment BC is going to be this WL squared divided by 12, and it's going to be positive. W is 4, 4 times L squared, L squared is 400. So 4 times 400 divided by 12 is 133.3. And fixed end moment, uh, fixed end moment, CB is going to be negative 133.3. Now, once we have all of these, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We come here. From here, distribution factors, distribution factor uh, 1.5.5.5.5, and this is 1. I don't need it, but it's 1. The fixed end moment. For this one is zero, negative 60, 133.3, negative 133.3, 60, and zero. And if you want and it makes you feel better, just copy here, carry on factor, carry on factor, carry on factor. I never do that, but 0 0.5, 0.5. 0.5, 0. And I don't do that so I don't get confused with that in the middle of working this problem and I'm stressed and whatever. I might take these numbers and so if you do this, be very careful uh, with what you are copying there. Okay, now look for the most unbalanced joints, these two. Pins are already zero, so I don't care about that. Minus 60. What is that? 73.3. That's what I have to compensate here. So remember, I'm going to scratch this. I don't want to keep it there like that. Okay. Remember, 73.3 times 0.5. So this is going to be negative 36.7, positive 36.7, uh, negative 36.7. And I'm not going to do this. Uh, this is zero, by the way, here, because this is not transmitting anything to that part. And this part to the far end is zero. It's not transmitting anything there. That's what I meant by that. But this is transferring something to here. So the, the unbalancing of this is the same thing, 36.7 and 36.7. Now, this is log. This is log. But these, however, transmit here. And these, however, transmit here. So this is 18.3. And this is negative 18.3. Three, half of that, 35, I know, 35. Now I have to compensate for this because this was six. Uh, I have to compensate now for this. So this is going to be multiplied by 0 0.5. It's so again negative 9.16, 9.16 negative because the distribution factor is that locked. 9.16, 9.16, log, transfer, transfer, divided by 2, or multiply by 0.5, which is the same thing. Uh, this one here is going gonna, is gonna to transfer 4.58, 4.58, and this is going to be transferring negative 4.58. Balance this, multi I need negative 4.58, multiply by 0.5. Multiply by 0.5, 2.29, negative 2.29, 2.29 negative, 2.29 positive, locked, 
product transfer transfer divided by two negative this is gonna be one point one four six let's say one point one four six one point one four six negative and if I need to balance this I need negative one point one fourteen here so it's going to be negative 0 0.57, negative 0 0.57, positive 0 0.57, and positive 0 0.57. And you see, I didn't touch this because I use the modified factors for everything. Now, when I do the moments at the end, of course, this is 0, of course, this is 0. And then when I do this part, it's going to be negative 60 minus 36 points. 7 minus 9.16 minus 2.29 minus 0.57 and that's going to be negative 108.7 108.7 negative 108.7 and 108.7 there you go Oh, huge error. Yeah, well, I could minimize the error and come one step lower if I wanted to. But you see, same case, but in this case, that we just solved by using and taking advantage of those properties, we managed to make it even shorter, like that. Do you think this is short? Watch the next one. See you in Jiffy.